Hi, my name is Erin. I'm for South Ayrshire Council's Staff Selective Exhibition, Cabinet of Curiosities. I have picked as one of the works Robert Burns and his dog have royal visitors. I picked this piece, to be honest, because I had never seen it before until we got the opportunity to go to the stores and have a look. And to be honest, it made me laugh. Um, it's not anything like any of the other works in the collection, as far as I'm aware. And the fact that it was even in the collection permanently at all was definitely a reason for me to explore it further and um, try and find out a wee bit more about it. Uh, on record within the archives, there wasn't very much there about it at all either. So uh, we got the opportunity to sort of research some of the works, and I actually reached out to the artist who's still alive who made this work directly. So it's painted by a chap called Jose Garcia Gamas. Um, he is originally born um, from the Canary Islands, but he now lives with his wife um, in an island just off the Baltic Sea. Um, I contacted him and got in touch with him through his agent. He's still alive and well and painting, and I asked him a wee bit about the painting. Um, and I asked him quite controversially if it was about uh, perhaps discussions of Scottish independence, breaking away from uh, the United Kingdom, and he confirms absolutely it is. So in the painting here we have Robert Burns, and supposedly his partner within this piece is Mary Queen of Scots, and they have a Dalmatian dog, and obviously cheekily in the corner, peeking, we have uh, the late Queen Elizabeth II. Um, this piece definitely makes you think of icons, um, the Queen obviously has just recently passed and I believe it's the only portrait we have of her within the entire collection that's, that's not within photographic uh, things, so having a painting of her is quite a unique piece as well. Um, in this work perhaps she's looking a bit sceptically as the unexpected guest, this is meant to be sort of Mary Judith. Um, it wouldn't be possible because obviously Robert Burns and Mary Queen of Scots were alive at different times but it's obviously signified Scotland. There's little details like the solitaire flag on the bag versus the Union Jack. Uh, and another question a lot of people have been asking is what the Dalmatian is all about. So Dalmatian used to be sought after by the sort of wealthy elite um, and they were also used controversially as war dogs and border dogs and the name Dalmatian comes from a Croatian, an ancient Croatian region of Dalmatia, and so it's to represent a, a sort of discussion about a Scottish independence, and it's something the artist feels quite strongly about. He um, admitted himself that he was interested in independence for um, the Catalonian people, so it was quite an interesting work for him to call out in British politics, um, and it was brought into the collection from an exhibition that had been brought in from his London galleries at the Gallerist as a part of a group exhibition. Um, in 1996 um, and he gifted the work to the council and it has remained I believe in storage since I don't know how often it's been shown but certainly not to the knowledge of the staff here and I thought it's very interesting and I'd like you to be able to come and see it yourselves so you can come and have a look